Hello, I'm Carl with frugalberry.com. Today I'm going to be showing you how to crop an image in GIMP. GIMP is a free software you can download from the internet and it works a lot like Photoshop, only it is free. I mentioned that before, I think. So here we go, uh, starting with an image that has that's 2048 by 1536. And I'm going to select and, and crop out this tree because uh, I like this tree and I want to put it on a website. Um, just uh, So I'm going to come up here and click on the rectangle select tool. I want to check over here and make sure that none of these boxes are checked except for the top one here, which is grayed out. That's the default setting. Uh, I'm going to bring my crosshairs to the upper left of the tree here. Click and drag and now we've got our tree selected and we can move that however we want uh, just by clicking and dragging the box from the center or we can adjust it if we want by bringing our our cursor down here to the corner any of the corners and changing the, the ratio changing the size of it and all that um, so when you've got it where you want then you come up here to image and crop to selection and now our tree is cropped and you can take a look up here and see that our image size has changed um, and that's all there is to it and you can now save it however you want uh, but rather than doing that I'm going to show you one other thing you can do I'm going to go control Z and control Z and so now we're back to where we were before and uh, keeping our rectangle select tool selected I'm going to come down here and click on this box next to fixed now you can change a bunch of different things here we're going to I'm going to show you the fixed aspect ratio and right now we've got an aspect ratio of four to five so if I come here and click the crosshairs now you can see that how wherever I move the cursor the aspect ratio of that box is going to stay the same. It's going to stay at that 4 to 5 aspect ratio. Whereas before I could make that box whatever shape that I wanted. So that you can do. Uh, of course you can change that aspect ratio to whatever you want. Um, and I do this a lot for, uh, for photos that I'm putting uh, on websites such as uh, like staff photos that type of thing if I want to crop a, a staff photo down and you want it to have the same aspect ratio as the other staff photos then this is a good tool for doing that of course then once you have it where you want it image and crop to selection and there we go and of course up here that's changed again and that's about it. That is how you crop images in GIMP. Again, I'm Carl with frugalberry.com. Thanks for watching. And if you want to have some money saving tips and ideas, check out frugalberry.com.